Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have here a Skyworth 24 inches LED TV. The problem of this TV is auto shut off. The Skyworth logo or brand name appear, but after a second, the TV back to standby mode. Disclaimer. This video is not an electronics tutorial. I'm only sharing my idea and techniques on how I'm going to fix this LED TV. Before opening the back cover, check the power supply adopter. Check if there are 12 volts DC. Check the voltage if is stable. The 12 volts is stable. This is the model of this LED TV. Now, open or remove the back cover. The warranty seal is not broken. It means that this LED TV is has no history of repair. If you not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell to keep you updated whenever I upload a sharing idea and techniques video like this. This channel needs 1000 to 100 watch hour and 30 more subscriber. So please subscribe and don't skip the video. Thank you. This is the main board. Clean and visual check before measuring voltages. There's no bloated electrolytic capacitor and no burned parts. Proceed to voltage checking. Focus to the digital multitester. See what happened to 12 volts supply. Fluctuate supply, the 12 volts fluctuate and back to normal again. When the 12 volts is normal or stable, the TV is back to standby mode. I'm going to use my analog multitester to make fluctuating 12 volts easy to see. This video is 11 minutes long, so please don't skip. Thank you. Set the analog tester to 50 DC range. The 12 volts is present now. See what happened to the pointer of the tester. Turn on the TV, focus on the pointer. Notice the pointer move backward. It means that supply is dropping. I'm going to test it again. Focus again to the pointer. Now it's clear that the 12 volt supply is dropping.
This is the interesting part. I'm going to share to you a trick to determine where the problem is. Simple remove the backlight connector cable. Now, measure again the supply. Once again, focus to my analog tester pointer. Notice, the supply is stable. The LED indicator light is color green now. It means that the TV is normally open. Before you go deep troubleshooting, check first the backlight LED bulbs. Now, check the LED bulbs using backlight tester. Every single bulb is 3 volts. Once again guys, please subscribe and please share this video. All the bulb is working good, but I notice the color of some bulb. It's bluish, it's not normal, this bulbs won't last long, but the owner said that it's okay. So I didn't replace it. After checking the backlight, I know what exactly the problem is. The lead driver of this board or TV is not working. Unfortunately, I don't have this lead driver I see. What I'm going to do is to use an external lead driver. The problem is this board is only 12 volt supply. So I'm going to use extra wire to connect to a C to supply the driver. Disclaimer, this technique I used is for those who don't have a spare, it's better to replace the lead IC driver. In this case, I'm just sharing my idea in case you don't have that kind of IC. Hope you like it, thank you. The TV is working now, thanks to external backlight driver. If you like this kind of setup, use a 12 volts relay and connect to the 12 volts VCC supply of the top board. The purpose is to synchronize the backlight to the top board when it's powering on. 